In academia, you are going to experience successes and setbacks, ups and downs. Stress and difficulty and challenges are part of the journey. And they're also an opportunity to cultivate resilience, meaning that you are able to work through challenges and adapt to your unfolding reality. So this week in our co-working community, the Academic Writer Space, where we co-work together alongside each other all week long, our theme for the week is resilience. And before I give you some tips on cultivating resilience, I wanna give you an important caveat. Cultivating resilience is not a substitute for the real societal, institutional, environmental, legal, and policy change that is often needed. And it can be harmful to insist that people be resilient without acknowledging the context in which they're operating. So it's something to consider. So here are four strategies that you can use to cultivate resilience inside yourself. Number one, prioritize your own rest and regulation. When we're going through challenges, it's very difficult to be creative, to come up with new solutions, to adapt when we're exhausted and when our nervous system is dysregulated. So when you prioritize even small moments of rest, small moments of, okay, how am I right now? Just checking in with yourself, slowing yourself down a little bit, laying down just for a few minutes, can actually help you move back into what you're doing and be more creative, be able to take action that's connected to a sense of wisdom and heart. Number two, release your insistence on how you or other things should be. Very often in our minds, we're saying I should, you should, we should, they should, the situation should be, we have musts and have tos. Now, Resilience actually requires flexibility. And so when we're in a mind where we're insisting how things must and should be, it can be very difficult to actually adapt because we're in too rigid a mindset to actually be able to figure out a wise way of proceeding. Number three, reach out for support from other people. Navigating through stressful and challenging times on your own is very difficult. We legitimately need the support from other people. We need to borrow other people's nervous systems and co-regulate. We often benefit from the wisdom and ideas of other people. This is a really important part of what we do in the academic writer space is create a community where we are supported so that it's easier to be resilient in the presence of the challenges that we are facing. And number four, is to focus on what is the next right action. When you're facing something difficult, it can be really overwhelming to try to figure out how am I gonna handle this situation in its entirety, in totality. The truth is you don't know. What you can focus on is what is the next right action? Take that action, see how it goes, and then from there, What's the next right action after that? This approach is much more humane and allows you to meet the moment one moment at a time and figuring out how you can navigate through something that's difficult. All right, everyone, I will see you on Zoom. Please come and co-work with us. We offer 24 live co-working sessions every single week. You can sign up for a free week of membership and experience what it's like to do challenging and difficult academic work in a supportive and nurturing community. And I look forward to seeing all of you on Zoom this week.